And new tonight, we're hearing from the school resource officer and the Cary chief of police about their response to a gun being fired inside Cary High School. Good evening. I'm Dan Haggerty. And I'm Lena Tillette. This was the scene yesterday as parents and families rushed to the school. That school placed into a code red lockdown and police discovered a gun had been shot into a toilet. Two juveniles have been charged in the incident. WRL's Adam Owens joining us live now with what he learned today after speaking to the law enforcement officials, Adam. Well, Dan, we learned that quite a bit of time actually passed before police were finally called and it was reported that that gunshot was fired in the high school there. The police chief here in Cary says we are fortunate it wasn't worse. Cary Police Chief Terry Soltz says nearly an hour passed before officers were alerted that a gun was fired in a bathroom at Cary High School. Without getting into the specifics of the case, uh, the period of time was probably, uh, I would say, 45 minutes, close to an hour. Uh, the event occurred in an isolated area. Uh, and so there wasn't a lot of people to hear what happened. By the time police were informed, Chief Salt says they quickly determined they were not dealing with an active shooter and there was no immediate threat to students. But I am concerned that A, a gun was on school grounds, B, that it did accidentally discharge. And I think we were very fortunate that it occurred in the way that it did. Salt says there was minimal exposure to others who were not directly involved. Juvenile petitions have been filed against two people. I talked with a parent who has a student at the school and who did not want to be identified. My daughter was in the building where the um, incident occurred. This parent decided not to send their daughter to school today. She wants some answers first. How prepared are these schools? That's my concern right now. So what are the schools going to do going forward? We asked Wake County Schools. A spokesperson tells me they recently completed a review of campus safety at every school. It suggested improvements to the student resource officer program, safety training, and school visitor management, among other things. School system leaders are now working on those suggestions. The police chief says they are also working on a strategic plan that includes preparedness for school dangers. We always want to be preventive, but you also have to recognize that you're not going to be able to prevent everything. Now, the chief tells me had it been an active shooter situation, Dan, they would have thrown all their resources at it to get to that threat and eliminate it as quickly as they could. They say that that was not the case, fortunately, for everyone involved yesterday. Now, after that code red lockdown was lifted, Wake County school officials tell me they did resume classes, but they also say there was extra security personnel who were at the school today. Dan? Certainly, you can still understand that anxiety from parents and from students too. Adam Owens reporting live from the Cary Police Headquarters. Thanks, Adam.